Hello from 4 chapter 6 book 2 video number 29 page number 23 The test for the cation by using the first method called sodium hydroxide But the best test for the cation will be using two solutions sodium hydroxide plus ammonium hydroxide plus some of the specific tests that we're going to discuss later So very long title man man lai man man lai and very lucky Today we are in, not in classroom, we are online, you can repeat thousand times, okay? So that's a cation with sodium hydroxide solutions, okay? And page number 23, start now, okay? So now they say I'm having the salt solutions, where is it in the salt solution? So I want to confirm the cation inside the salt solution. What's now in the salt the cation is what? So the first test, I add sodium hydroxide. I add a few drops of sodium hydroxide, jia ji di de sodium hydroxide. Okay, so after I add the sodium hydroxide, you can you can having two observations. You can get two observations. No precipitate and with precipitates. No precipitate, that means you see nothing. Something you don't see. They are colorless. They say this is colorless, no color. After you add the sodium hydroxide, you can see nothing. Something you don't see. Or this is what we call no precipitate. Another group, another observation will be with precipitate. You can see it's a precipitate, it's a precipitate. Okay, so now, salt solution, add with the sodium hydroxide, no precipitate will be formed. If no precipitate will be formed, if there is no precipitate, or if it is totally colorless, it is no color, it is no color. What I can say, the salt must be Ammonium. This kind of ammonium is Okay? Ammonium salts. So copy on your notes. The salt solution must be ammonium. So ammonium is sodium hydroxide. No precipitate will be formed. It will not create any precipitate. Okay? Or if you not believe, if you don't believe, you can test. Okay? You can test it. You can test whether it is ammonium again by using other method. So now you simply hit the salt solution. Okay? After you hit the solution, ammonia gas is going to produce. Ammonia gas will find out. To confirm this is ammonia gas, you can have in the first method in the thicker fang fana using the red color, using the moist red litmus paper. Using the red moist litmus paper, using the red moist litmus paper, the red moist litmus paper going to become blue color because ammonia gas is alkaline. That red moist litmus paper will become blue color. Or maybe you can test another one. You can use another method. When you hit the ammonium salt solution, ammonia will be produced. You can test ammonia gas by using the concentrated hydrochloric acid, and they're going to produce a white film. It will produce white. This kind of test is also possible. Or you can smell it. 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 Okay, ammonium salts. This ammonium salt is just like this test. But you may be not understand, right? So before I go further, I have not gone to the further, further place before. I show you the test. I can see how it works. Ammonium test. So after this, when I teach you the new salts, I teach you the new salts. You will be understand. You will understand what I'm talking about. Okay, slowly, slowly. It will take a long time. Really, this is a big problem. Okay, ammonium salts. It may be ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate, ammonium chloride. Don't worry, there's only ammonium in it. Okay, so I'm going to test 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 it. Okay, if you want to confirm more, you want to test it. Okay. Okay, you produce ammonia when the salt solution is heated. 
And finally, the ammonium make the moist red litmus paper become blue, or you can test with the concentrated hydrochloric acid. So this is the first test only. We have 20 tests. From this point, we have 20 tests. And this is just the first one. The first one is done. Okay? So, where are you? You are where? Okay? Prepare the salt solution. Prepare the salt solution. Okay? Add the sodium hydroxide solution. No precipitate is, is formed. So I made the conclusion. This is ammonium cation. That made the cation to the ammonium. Okay. And now I go to second part. What you can do eh? Okay. Salt solutions. And now I add the sodium hydroxide. What is sodium hydroxide? And now you can see the precipitate. The, the precipitate will be formed. And this is what we call precipitate. And when we talk about precipitate, we can we having two type of precipitate: white color precipitate, 白色的 precipitate, or color precipitate, 有颜色的 precipitate. Okay. So, 什么叫白色的 precipitate? Nothing to worry. I'm going to show you the video. 我会给你看得清清楚楚 Okay. So, salt solution at sodium hydroxide. 看到它变成白色 We having five possibility. 有五大可能性要背的吗？要，我现在就告诉你，要五大可能性。OK， so what is the possibility？ 什么原来的呢 ？OK， it may be calcium， magnesium， aluminium， zinc， or maybe lead。这五大可能性 ：calcium ion， magnesium ion， aluminium， lead and zinc。这五大可能性。这五种盐水，你加 sodium hydroxide， they become white color precipitate。你马上看到白色的粉跑出来。So calcium, magnesium, aluminium, lead, and zinc。这五大可能性。OK。And now after you see the white color precipitate， 当你看到了白色的 precipitate 过后 ，you add the sodium hydroxide solution in excess。你加多多的 sodium hydroxide。Add excess， 加多多的 sodium hydroxide。Okay, and after you add the excess of sodium hydroxide, what going to happen? 什么事情会发生呢 ？Okay, some of the white color precipitate will be dissolved. 有一些白色的 precipitate 呢会溶掉，看不到。But some of them will be insoluble. 有一些呢白色的 precipitate 呢 insoluble 不能溶掉。Okay, so if the white color precipitate soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide, 如果形成的白色 precipitate 溶解在多多的 sodium hydroxide, okay, you know who? 那种盐水是谁呢？有三个可能性罢了。Okay, 也就是 lead, aluminium, and zinc. Okay, lead, aluminium, and zinc. 如果你加多多的 sodium hydroxide, 它就会溶掉的。明白吗 ？OK， so lead, aluminium, and zinc. If you add the sodium hydroxide in excess, 你刚加一点点，它出白色。你加多多，搅搅几下 ，the white color precipitate soluble dissolve in excess of sodium hydroxide， 溶解在多余的 sodium hydroxide。所以那个就是 lead, aluminium, and zinc。这三种，当它形成白色的 precipitate 过后，它溶解在多多的 sodium hydroxide。Okay, and another ones they will be insoluble. 另外一组呢，你加多多，它白色还是白色 ？Insoluble， 完全不能溶解。So it will be 剩下的 calcium magnesium. So calcium salt solution, magnesium salt solution. 你加一点点的 sodium hydroxide， 你又看到白色。你加多多过后，白色还有在呢。So calcium magnesium insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. 它不能溶解在多多的 sodium hydroxide. So 什么意思呢？ You hold on. You hold on the page number twenty-three. 你你就挡在你的 page number twenty-three. 不要走开。I show you the video. 啦，给你明白这个意思是什么呢 ？Okay. I show you the test. Let's say aluminium. 呢，哦 ，zinc test. 我给你看 zinc 啊。Okay. Let's be sodium hydroxide. Zinc 是怎样的呢？ Okay, prepare zinc solution. It can be zinc chloride, zinc nitrate, zinc sulfate, 什么都可以。Add a few drop of sodium hydroxide. White color precipitate will be formed. 对不对？白色的 precipitate 会形成。Add excess. 加多多怎样？自己看。
aussi de cette couleur. The white PCP is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. This is the PCP is soluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. So this is a test. Ah, 刚才我们的意思就是这样子。So you have to remember one by one. 你要一个一个背。当然不简单。不过很多人都能背得很好。Okay, 你没有什么特别，你就要背了。Okay, next, 再来。明白吗 ？Okay. How about calcium? Okay, calcium and magnesium. 怎样呢 ？Calcium, magnesium 是怎样的呢 ？Okay, so you, 什么叫不能溶解 ？Okay, so maybe I choose calcium dense and magnesium dense. 什么叫不能溶解 ？So I come again. 随便找一个 calcium dense with sodium hydroxide. OK， 加一点点 soluble， 哎，白色的 precipitate 加多多的 precipitate insoluble， 白色的 precipitate 不能溶解在多多的 sodium hydroxide。So this is the calcium or magnesium。明白了没有？明白了，慢慢背，还没有开始，刚刚来罢了。OK，So、okay. next， prepare some salt solution， 准备一些盐水 ，add sodium hydroxide solution。You can see the precipitate。But now the PCP day is color, 有颜色的哦 Okay, if the PCP day is color, you have to look at the color. 你必须看它的颜色 If the PCP day is green color, 就话它是青色呢 Okay, you add excess of sodium hydroxide. 你加多多 Okay, the green color PCP day is still insoluble. 它也是不能溶的 Okay, so the green color actually is what? 如果它是青色，代表它是什么盐水呢 Iron two. 这种盐就叫 iron two. Okay, so add sodium hydroxide, you get a color precipitate. 拿到有颜色的 precipitate, and the precipitate is brown color, 可可色的，加多多不能溶解 And it must be iron three. 那种盐水就叫 iron three 的盐水 The cation inside is iron three, 就叫铁三 iron three. Okay, add the sodium hydroxide, you can you get a color precipitate. 你看到有颜色的 precipitate, and it's blue color, 它是蓝色 At excess, 加多多 The blue color PCP is insoluble, 不能溶解，对不对？所以我比 copper two 就代表着它的 copper two. So now I simply show you one of the example. 啦，随便给你看一个 example 就可以了。什么叫 color PCP? 什么叫 insoluble? 对不对 ？OK， 选一个人出来。Color PCP, copper two for example. OK.
。Sorry, sorry, just now I forget to on my mic。我刚才发现到我忘记开我的麦啊，现在才有声音罢了。对不起，我重新讲过一次。If you're testing the salt solution by using the sodium hydroxide only, actually the test is not perfect, 不完美。为什么呢 ？Okay, now you add the sodium hydroxide, you get a white color precipitate, and the white color precipitate is dissolved in excess of sodium hydroxide. 它溶掉了。Or in this case, having three possibility, 它有三大可能性。那个盐可能是 lead， 可能是 aluminium， 可能是金。对不对？所、so, 以 until the end you still don't know what is the salt。它的盐的 cation 是谁？你还是不知道，无聊，对不对 ？So sodium hydroxide only the test only actually is not enough for you to confirm the cations。所以 just starting only 啦，它只是其中一个 test。So you have to merge together, add together with other tests to confirm the salt solution。所以暂时你有 sodium hydroxide 的 test 被打完，没有用处的，没有用的。明白吗 ？OK， so very sorry for the mic for the mic 啊 ，just now scared you 吓到你了，对不对？对不起，道歉啊，道歉，让你浪费几一两分钟的时间在那边害怕、失望、心情低落。<笑> OK， 拜拜，拜拜。